Four years ago, voters in Mahoney County agreed to provide a million dollars a year to Mill Creek Metro Parks for capital improvements. A 15-year plan was started in 2017, the third year of which is just about over. Tonight, I focus on what's been done and what will get done in the next couple of years. Spending money on upkeep of the parks. It's our top story at 10. This afternoon at Mill Creek South, crews were doing drainage work around the 17th Green, part of $300,000 of drainage work done this year on 29 of the golf course's greens. Last year we did the bunker restorations at, at the golf course. This year we're finishing greens drainage. I talked today with Mill Creek Metro Parks Executive Director Aaron Young about the capital improvements plan, now in its third year. Repairing the golf course greens was one of 13 projects completed, totaling $1.75 million. But the improvements have been well needed and well received. Some of the improvements can be seen at the Metro Parks offices and farm in Canfield, where the parking lot has been repaved. New signage erected on what will now be the Metro Parks style. And a new $50,000 restroom, another of which was built this year at the Wick Recreation Area. Eventually, all the restrooms will be replaced. And quite frankly, if we had the resources, you could argue that they all need replaced right now. Um, we already know that. One of this year's major construction projects was around Lanterman's Mill, one of the park's top attractions. The entire corner leading to the mill was reconfigured. Like all the restrooms, all the roads and parking lots will eventually be redone. Everybody likes smooth roads, everybody likes a clear, delineated parking lot, and everybody likes a nice restroom experience. You're ahead of the game if you can provide those base level amenities. The plan next year behind the Morley Pavilion at the Wick Recreation Area is to build a new $500,000 maintenance building, which will open up the warming cabin for public use. In 2020, work on renovating the Ford Nature Center will begin. 90% of that money is in place. Anything and everything that the park does needs some level of improvement. We're going to try to address as much as we can with the resources that are available. Now, 50% of this year's capital improvements budget was spent on roads, bridges, parking lots, and restrooms. $25,000 went to fix the old log cabin, another $25,000 for a disc golf course. $115,000 was spent at Fellows Riverside Garden and $150,000 in improvements along the popular East Golf Drive hike and bike trail.